Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon to everyone out there. It is the Earth Master here, still under the weather, but we're going to try to make it through this update. Uh, it is Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023, about 10.53 a.m. here along the West Coast in California, where we picked up uh, a little bit of rainfall overnight once again. Got some more on the way throughout the day today. All right, uh, see what we got for the latest activity here. 2.3 earthquake into the region of Hawaii. Notice the last 24 hours quite active on the earthquake 3D globe. Looks like they had some deep earthquake activity down into the Chile region as well. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here across the map. There is that uh, pretty deep earthquake into the Peru Chile Trench, a 6.5 coming in underneath the uh, Argentina region. San Antonio de los Cobres, Argentina. Remember the Peru Chile Trench sits here, subduction zone. Uh, with this type of deeper activity, we'll definitely want to watch areas upstream uh, for some potential movement. Over the last 24 hours or so, um, we did see some further movement down south. Looks like some force kicking off here. But uh, definitely pay attention uh, to what's going on upstream here throughout the day today. We should start seeing some activity ramping up uh, throughout that area. Uh, down into the South Sandwich Trench, this earthquake from last night, I believe, a 5.3. And uh, just kind of getting the cycle of things going again out here uh, with the earthquake activity once we see all these uh, divergent boundaries picking up. These earthquakes here in the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge from yesterday as well. So what do we got here for the states? Uh, let's see if we got anything new. Remember yesterday we had a 4.5 just off the coast here of Eureka. That one coming in 18 kilometers deep associated with the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Also some activity here along the Blanco fracture zone following that movement yesterday. Well, further south into California, looks as though things have kind of mellowed out here. Not seen anything uh, too active today. Um, little cluster of movement across the San Jacinto fault zone, but that's about it. Look at the 2.5 map here and above across California. It just shows this one earthquake down here from yesterday, a 2.6. So things a little on the mellow side across the West Coast for now. We'll definitely continue to watch that, though. Across the Kermadec Trench, a uh, pretty shallow earthquake around the Kermadec Islands with a 5.5 coming in uh, to the New Zealand area. That... Uh, Earthquake a 5.5. Let's see what we got here for the GeoNet servers. Kind of curious. See if things have kicked up here overnight in terms of earthquake activity. Uh, this map right here will show all the magnitudes across the area of New Zealand. Looks like uh, within the last hour, some twos and ones kicking up here. 2.7 down along the, um, looks like the Alpine Fault, South Island. Um... Nothing major, though, it looks like. So let's go ahead and check out the earthquake drums here and get a little better indicator of what's going on out here. There's some of that movement up around North Island with that uh, consistent swarming that's going on out there just south of the Bay of Plenty around the Mount Tarawera area. Uh, so it looks like things uh, eh, tapered off here over the last few hours, but not entirely. Uh, so continue to watch that region, considering... That we're still seeing some activity up here along the Kermadec Trench. Lacking activity across the uh, Samoa, Tonga, and the Fiji area, uh, at least far as uh, some larger scale movement goes. Uh, looking at the EMSC model here, shows it absent of earthquake activity, except for that 5.5. Uh, with that shallow adjustment down here, that tells me that there's certain strain uh, up here along the uh, northern end of Kermadec Trench in the Tonga region. So watch for some potential adjustment up here towards the uh, surface level. Uh, let's see what we got. Big Island, Hawaii got a 2.3 coming in. Nothing major up there or uh, in the middle of the ocean, I should say, uh, for now. Been uh, relatively quiet. Only 12 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours, which is pretty minimal. Um, up north into Alaska. I did say Hawaii, right? I'm still a little bit under the weather, so it's kind of messing with my 
reasoning and common sense, I guess. A little bit of activity here up into the Gulf, uh, very close to the plate boundary. A couple upper threes uh, coming in early this morning. And a little swarm of activity kicking off around the Trident Volcano and the Mount Martin area, it looks like. Uh, no major earthquake activity up there for now. A little small amount of uh, swarming still remains around the Tanaga and the Takawanga Volcano up here. Although no, uh, no explosive eruption yet. Uh, nothing going on there as far as any elevated volcanic activity. Just a little bit of... A little bit of swarming continuing. Um, some earthquakes here from yesterday and one today off the east coast here of Japan into the Japan Trench region. That was a 4.3. Um, looks like just after midnight we did have a 5.6. Roughly about the same depth here. Uh, could see some adjustment further upstream here. And of course the Kurokamachaka Trench waiting on some further movement uh, as far as the large scale potential goes there. One of these days, we're going to wake up and see that uh, it finally hit. It's been building up for a little while. Uh, let's see what we got here across the Philippines. All these here from yesterday. Um, and on the Earthquake 3D globe here. Getting, uh, getting a little swarming here across the Papua New Guinea area westward along the Java Trench. Uh, with a very deep earthquake here. 3.3 coming in. 700 and 50 kilometers deep that's just that's beyond what the uh the earthquake 3d globe will show so it's possible i don't see how it's possible but i guess it's could be even below that so something brewing way down underneath this area uh, if this is indeed a legit earthquake sometimes emsc will throw up some quakes um, that may not be reviewed but it looks like the parameters here for that earthquake were reported by the Indonesia uh, Meteorological Society there. So a little bit of deeper movement kicking off into the Java Trench area. Watch that pretty closely. It looks fairly quiet on the USGS map here, but as you can see, there's some threes and even some twos popping up here around the bend. Continue to watch that. Uh, there's that 6.5 in eastern Afghanistan from yesterday that uh, should be off of the globe by now. Let me adjust that. Sometimes sometimes it just wants... There we go. Last 24 hours right about there. Okay. Uh, sometimes those bigger quakes tend to pop up there more than 24 hours for some reason. But a little adjustment took care of that. Uh, looks like we got a little aftershock activity here listed on the map around Iran and uh, let's see 5.1 coming in just after midnight 10 kilometers deep a little bit of adjustment I'm sure from the activity that we've seen uh, yesterday in Afghanistan all right Mediterranean area and the Greece area all seen some twos a four-pointer way up here let's see exactly where that kicked off at maybe maybe not uh, we'll see I guess we will there we go Switzerland, all right, that one 14 kilometers deep. Somewhat of a larger one for that area. It's been a while since we've seen a four-pointer up there. Uh, 3.6, way up north of the... See exactly where that's at, not showing up here, so we'll go to the Earthquakes Canada map and see what's going on. Stand by for just a second. Alrighty, I'm back. Yeah, three-pointer uh, coming in up here. Uh, 3.6 to be exact, 18 kilometers deep. deep Around the uh, Quebec area, it looks like. Nothing major, though, for now up into the uh, Canada region. Alright, so let's look at the Earthquake 3D globe here and see what we have for movement got a bunch of quiet areas today folks so got to remember these regions a lot of areas have seen earthquake movement uh, over the last 24 hours except for uh, this entire region down here aside from that 5.5 if you were to dismiss this that would show a wide open gap here of seismic possibility uh, over the next 24 hours so we'll continue to watch that 
Um, deeper movement down here into the Prue Chili Trench definitely could be an indicator uh, of seeing something upstream on the larger size because uh, that's somewhat of a big earthquake, 6.4, but awfully deep here into the Peru Chile Trench, 210 kilometers. Uh, USGS reporting that is 6.5, by the way. Uh, you can see historical data. The, uh, you know, this is kind of the dark gray colors, the very deep earthquakes that occur deeper uh, than 300 kilometers are much further right here on the map, which means they're deeper into the subduction zone. More shallower, stronger earthquakes, though, do tend to build up um, upstream where the white circles are. So today's earthquake, 6.5, occurring in a region that has seen uh, quite a bit of seismic activity um, and some large ones down there as well. All right, let's see what we got here for uh, Yellowstone. Just give a quick glance here. Let's see if we got anything abnormal. Um, there is the... Uh, that's the signature of the 6.5 into the South America region, into the Argentina area that showed up across Yellowstone. But as uh, far as local seismic activity, doesn't look like there's a whole lot over the last 24 hours. A little handful <coughs> of uh, earthquakes. Very small, though. All right, space weather activity. As we look into the uh, future... Still looking at a G2 class storm possibility uh, coming up <clears throat> on the 24 time frame. 85% chance of a uh, seeing some solar storming up there into the higher latitudes, and uh, looks like a little chance even for the mid latitudes there at 45% chance. So we'll continue to update on that as it gets closer, about two days or so away. Solar flare activity has been very minimal. Uh, just looks like some low-grade sea flares over the last 24 hours, but nothing uh, spectacular to write home about. And it uh, looks like we still have a 95% chance for a sea flare. M flare at 10, and X flare has dropped. So that tells me that these uh, sunspots are diminishing. And it does look like they are. There's not a whole lot of... Uh, Intermixing, I think the only regional sunspot to pay attention to could be this one right here uh, with a little bit of uh, complex structure. The rest of these look like they are degrading. Although we do have a couple newer sunspots on the eastern horizon here of the sun. We'll continue to watch those in the coming days uh, and see what they look like. But for now, uh, I guess the only excitement will be the high-speed solar wind particles coming from that coronal hole expected to reach earth around the 24th time frame again we'll provide a little bit of further update as um, the days go on all right folks i'm going to jump off here and uh just try and take care of myself here make sure i'm getting back to better getting back to normal i guess if i'm i don't know if i've ever been considered normal but hey we'll continue to work on that all right, guys, take care, stay safe out there, and um, if you're out here in California like me, try to stay uh, try to stay dry. Got a little bit more rain tomorrow before a couple days of clearing, uh, and then another bigger storm coming in, uh, I think towards the weekend or so. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care.